People can get sepsis from all kinds of different causes. Some common causes that may happen is an infection of the skin, something called cellulitis. You can develop pneumonia. Other people can have an abscess somewhere within the body, within the abdomen, something that you may have heard of like diverticulitis. And even urinary tract infections can cause sepsis in people. There's different types of people that may be more at risk for sepsis, and those would include people that have immunocompromise. So if you're on some type of medication that suppress your immune system, things like chemotherapy, or if you've had an organ transplant, those things will help. You're on medications already at that time that are gonna suppress your immune system. If you're somebody who falls into a more elderly age group that can't necessarily speak for yourself or advocate for yourself, you're maybe more at risk because you're gonna have delayed time to recognizing the symptoms. Uh, as well as even thinking about children and young kids with sepsis, with sepsis, that even the young are going to be still at risk. It's not just an illness of, you know, adults or elderly folks. This is you know, all comers from, you know, from birth, unfortunately, until death.